This is the duck there, continuing the Battle Brothers playthrough. I recorded some videos of very boring fights that I knew I was going to win with no problems. Now we have a Necromancer and a Fallen Hero. This is exactly the type of fight we want. Dagger down the Fallen Hero. They could get uh, T3 weapons. Then there's this thing, Runes of Black Watch Keep, like two for one. Um, I was starting to not bring my Poacher because I don't want him to gain experience because he's not long-term material. But uh, given that we have two fights in short proximity, I'm going to bring all the guys I can spare. Now, this Swordmaster has very weak protection and no nimble. He has 31 defense! It's ridiculous! The only other character that are as comparable is my tank with a shield and my hedge knight. So, you'll be alright. Now, if I get him surrounded by 5 zombies, or even 3 zombies, he's gonna die horribly. If I get him next to the fallen hero, he's gonna die horribly. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna put him next to the fallen hero. I'm not gonna get him surrounded by 5 zombies. It's not as difficult as you might think to not get surrounded by 5 zombies. Um, so, Fallen Hero, very dangerous. We'll see what type of Fallen Hero it is. Guys, eh. Oh, this is an easy... Th oh, his armor is garbage. I think we're just going to kill him. He's got, like, the 170 armor, and it's like, he doesn't even have a helmet. We could try flailing him down or something, but he he's pretty garbage. That's so disappointing. Yeah, so there are not even enough zombies to be a threat. Let's I wanna see what the necromancer does. Oh, okay, that's what he does. Oh, they're gonna move the fallen hero up. Yes, that is a concern. This is kind of an interesting... I don't think I move up. Let's let them come to me. We're just going to decapitate. Or DPS is so high. We should be able to decapitate everything. Might be able to knock him back. That'd be a really good result. But... Oop. Just going to kill him. He's too dangerous. Back one. How cute! Really? Only 41? Well, let's try to get some more surround bonuses on him. That's better. But I have a cunning plan, you see. That's not much of a plan. Don't worry, we're not out of options. Got some ideas. Hold fast. I also don't have rotation here. Okay. You have Berserk, so. Now the guys come. 
This could hurt. I actually think repelling him. I have a 40% chance to stun him. I don't think I can die. So let's just go for the damage. Any other tricks I can play? So much for my uh, overconfident boast, huh? There is one other trick I can play. This will lower his initiative and defenses next turn. Oh, well, never mind. Super easy. Shield. Damage. Eh, he's stunned. He's not going to do anything. Ninety-five miss, the best kind of miss. Hmm, that's annoying. Six turns. I don't think I can kill him, but we can kill the fallen hero. Gonna take quite a few hits here, but that is okay. Let's let these morons get up even closer. Nine turns. Should be able to rally him. This is gonna hurt. Really? Hmm. Ow. Oh. I really thought that would uh, rally him, but... This is a problem. It's okay. We're fine. Alrighty. Didn't want to hit his helmet, but what are you going to do? Don't know who he's going to berserk next. Heroes back. Hmm, this is annoying. Ow, that could suck. Good. Knock back was nice. Come on. Ah, uh, two of them rallied. Good enough. I might take quite a few nasty hits here, but I'll be fine. Yep. 
This guy's got a short sword, he ain't doing much. One guy's down. Not getting any of this armor, that's fine. Don't know what he's gonna berserk. Buff against an echo. That one again. Seven turns, 13 turns. Well, he's gonna get to move ahead of me. Let's so push him back. This is actually a chance for repel. Lowers his initiative. So I can get a real tank up against him. Who's a real tank? You have 33 defense. You have 31. This is my best tank, but he's not available right now. Oh, I could uh, stun him. Eh, but the odds aren't great. This should be fine. Let's let him attack. I go here. He has a puncture. I'm just so afraid of getting punctured to death. But I think I'll be okay. Can't be afraid of everything. I think I should well give you a little extra defense. Hmm. Okay, he's not puncturing, so that means he's passing. Whoa! I didn't see that move coming. That was interesting. Okay, what is the odds? 69, nah, go for the, go for it. This just means I take a lot of damage. But we should be like fine. I can't even hit. What is this game? Oh yeah, I should have rallied, eh, whatever. This is why tanks need morale, by the way. That tank did not have morale. What about that guy's gear? Do I want this guy's gear? Not really. But I might get it because I have nothing better to do with my time. Yeah, this guy really does feel like, oh man, he has no fatigue, he runs out all the time. But... So it does feel very much like that. 
Come on, rally. Nice little puncture. There we go. That was satisfying. Uh, I don't think I care about his armor. It'll take too long to get. So let's just kill him. He's got a heater shield, so he's quite resistant. But I do not want to destroy the heater shield. That's for sure. And if anything, if I keep attacking him, I might destroy the heater shield. This way, I'm uh, much less likely to destroy it. Go. Can't even do anything. Try to get two heater shields. Ah, oh, that fallen hero just didn't have any decent armor. He got some money. Out of ammo. How very odd. I guess it's not odd, but uh... all right. You leveled up. Ah, uh, this is a caravan hand I recruited. It's like this character could potentially be a sergeant of some sort. Like, what else was he going to be? Most of these rows are so bad. So, let's get you student. He has cocky, which works out for a character who needs sergeant. But, not super big fan of him. Need to get you up to... Get you. Um, yeah, I don't know if this uh, money is worth it on recruits of such low levels. Hmm. Still, getting you up to Nimbo quicker is pretty worth it. This is five undead parties not worth chasing down. Don't know what type of enemy it's going to be. So, let us look at our characters. Oh, this uh, crappy leather armor. Fine. I think we've equipped ourselves pretty effectively. Yeah, putting a net here. Put you in the back in case there are brigands. Who is the most afraid? You are the most afraid, but I'm okay with getting you shot. I actually have heater he shields for everyone. If at the cost of two fatigue for five defense, that's a pretty no-brainer pick. I'm not going with the kite shield. I could equip one on my duelist in case there are, and then just drop it. That seems smart. Don't know what type of enemy this will be. These are always kind of interesting. Okay, so Noxers and zombies. Like, this is pretty easy. Bird, just to double check. Ah, a little disappointed. I shouldn't say that much. Those barbarians in the north are insane. At least the chosen. They would annihilate me if I fought them right now, so... Hmm, now this is an interesting situation. Look at this terrain here. The funnel to me. I love it. Here's...
I knew this battle was going to be boring, I wouldn't have uh, recorded it. Oh, Sergeant Sash is on the wrong character. Whoops. Not distributing experience very effectively, but that's okay. I need to fire the monk. I'm not even necessarily going to try to get him killed off. Um, I'm just going to pay the severance. Don't know if they're actually even going to be able to flank to back there. Hmm. I don't have the banner out. We got to get that out. Those Noxurers could at least be moderately interesting. If they eat some corpses, it could be annoying. Let the Noxurus come up. Yep. Then we're gonna kill them. Good. This actually works out perfectly. Hmm. Didn't anticipate that. Your kneecap should lower his initiative significantly. Ugh. But I need to kill these things. Hmm. These remaining zombies are not that bad. They might hurt, but not that bad. Let them come in. All these misses. Mm. 
30%. Ugh, that's scary. Shoot that, that would be a problem. That guy's armor was actually not a bad candidate to get. Yep, they're going to start hitting. Suck. Need more fatigue. Wow, how am I dodging like that? That's ridiculous. Never seen so many dodges. Alrighty. Nice, we can get this guy's armor. If it's a great sword, it would have been a uh, decapitate, but alas. Gonna save my fatigue, probably go for a decapitate. Huh, right, I always forget they can pick up weapons now. Could hurt. Nope. Missed. That didn't really do much. work everyone gotta level up <gasps> two-handed hammer a pole hammer our first famed item of the campaign 
crude weapon like pole hammer can also be crafted with passion, skewing attention to detail, as this exemplar showcases impressively. Weapon skills build up mine three less fatigue. Extra damage. Pole hammers, I think, are 50 to 75. This is a significant amount more damage. What a fascinating weapon. Also got like thousands of crowns worth of loot, but clearly the pole hammer is the uh, star here. Some of this garbage. Don't even care about this stuff. Alright. Fascinating. I've never seen a famed pole hammer before. Somehow the town didn't give me uh, any information about this famed item, which is right next door. Let's see. What do we got here? Hmm. Inflicts 252. So we definitely want to get a hammer expert. If I remember correctly, hammer mastery. Destroy armor and demolish armor. Inflict 33% more damage against armor. Which is kind of the whole point of a pole hammer. Demolish armor. Yeah. Destroy armor, I think, is the one-handed variant of it. Well, this gives us the firepower to take on orcs. Still... Um, even though the damage is impressive, this is not as good as a full regular hammer. Um, this is certainly a good weapon, don't get me wrong. I mean, I love, like, this drop is phenomenal, but it's clearly better than our, um, I mean, it has a little less hit chance, but it's clearly better than, uh, the pike. Like, it's not even close. This thing does more base damage and crushes armor which will come in very handy should we have to fight orcs or even barbarians i'm just trying to think how do we take full advantage of this weapon because this is a weapon that in the ideal world we have i think someone who quick hands between a two-handed hammer and this pole hammer could even be my starting hedge knight but it seems a bit of a waste on the starting hedge knight. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to use this weapon yet. Except you're going to use it uh, basically full time. Until you get up. What if I made you the hammer person? Fatigue is going to be a problem. But the idea is you use this and you use a two-handed hammer. And you quick hands between them. I don't know. Could be worth exploring. I have no idea, but I'm just, like, good result. Very, very good result. This guy's probably gonna go quote-unquote battle forge. Not that he's gonna f fit very heavy armor on him anyway, but... You don't need defenses all the time. I think we go for a little more hit points there. But if I mine, next turn you get rallied to troops and we can fire our monk. Alright, that seems like a good stopping point. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Um, I'll probably record... Um, I'll, s I'll skip... Uh, commentary until we find an interesting battle. Anyway, thank you. Until next time.